गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वी आर कमिंग टू यू लाइव वाया फेसबुक स्ट्रीमिंग यूट्यूब स्ट्रीमिंग एंड ऑल्सो वाया स्काइप ईच वन ऑफ यू इज वेलकम टू दिस लाइव स्ट्रीमिंग फ्रॉम अवर स्टूडियोज इन फ्रीनेडार्ट ईच वन ऑफ यू इज वेलकम्ड सूत्र ज विज्ञान भैरव तंत्र नेचर और एग्जिस्टेंस सराउंड्स अस एग्जिस्टेंस सराउंड्स अस वट एवर फ्लोज आउट ऑफ मी कम्स आउट ऑफ माई इनर साइलेंस एंड हार्मनी ईच वर्ल्ड इज सोक्ड इन दिस साइलेंस एज यू एब्सोक each word you will find the worlds have evolved out of the vastness of the ocean of silence which is an expression of existence the silence is nothing but inner bliss and harmony an expression of existence once a fish asked wanted to know where is the ocean fish lives in the ocean but is oblivious of the presence of the ocean fish lives in the ocean when you are part of something you are floating in something you f- want to know where it is and you become oblivious of it the same was the situation with the fish so the master said the ocean is above you ocean is below you ocean is all around it surrounds you it is in you it is out of you ocean is above you below you surrounds you inside you outside you such is the nature of the existence it is above you below you all around you there is a law of nature existence follows a rule there is a law of going up there is a law of going down but both are the laws of existence for instance when steam water is put to boil steam is formed steam moves towards the sky then it is following the laws of existence water flows downward from a higher altitude to the lower then too it is following the laws of the nature in every situation it is following the laws of nature the laws to move up higher and laws to move downward are all the laws of existence choice is yours you are free to choose and this choicelessness is the way of human beings this is the quality of being a human animals do not have 
freedom to choose. They live in their nature. Man can change his nature. He can move up or down. Animals do not have any choice. Their energy moves downward. It has no option for moving upward. Even if any animal wants its energy to move upward, it can never happen. Animal is bound. Its energy will move downward alone. Man has the possibility. If he doesn't do anything, his energy naturally moves downward. He can make an effort for its energy to move upward. It is like water. Water naturally moves downward from a higher altitude to the lower. You pour the water on the floor, it will find its way moving towards the lower. It cannot do anything other than that. But the same water if it is put on the fire and fire is lit, it's the water's quality begins to change. It becomes a steam. A steam cannot remain where it is. It cannot move downward. It must have an ascendance. And there are people who do not use these options available to them. They become oblivious that they have an option. Sometimes it happens. There are many options in your smartphone, but you become oblivious and you do not know that this option is there. I can do this also in my iPhone or laptop or anything other device. This is the situation of a man who does not know that his energy can move upward. He is op completely oblivious for whatever reasons. The reasons are individualistic. There is no difference between an animal and a man who is oblivious of various options of that are available to him. He is oblivious that his energies can move upward, can begin its ascendance. It only knows one way, the energy moves downward. There is no difference between an animal and a person who is oblivious of these options. The only difference between man and animal is man can choose. Maybe you are oblivious or unaware of the features of your device that you are using, a smartphone or laptop or anything else. Someone shows you the way how to use this device, this particular option, then you begin to use it. And then there is a difference. In the same way you are oblivious of various options that are available to you. Someone, a master, awakened one, 
makes you aware of the option that you have you can your choice can change your energy that was moving downward begins to move upward this is the beauty man can fall even below the animal means animal are at a certain level and man can go beyond that if man wants to be animalistic he can even go do much better than an animal and if we collect all the animals of the world is still all the animals put together cannot compare with hitler chengiz khan no one can be as animalistic as some of the people that history has seen if man wants to be animalistic he can go below the animal but no animal can ever be like a man if man wants to become an animal he can be if you have a capacity to move upward in the same proportion you can go fall in the valley both possibilities are together the peak and the valley go together the fall and growth go together no animal can fall below what he is a dog cannot be worse than dog dog will remain dog if you go to the forest you will know by their behavior which animal is more but they are living in their own nature all lions are one way when they are hungry they act in one way you cannot differentiate between two lions or two tigers or two dogs dogs when they see a strange person they bark so the you will never find a dog higher or lower a lion higher and lower because man can the animal live in their own nature man does not live in his nature so if he is animalistic he can become more cruel than a dog or anything else if man wants to rise he can be like a buddha krishna or jesus <coughs> so these tendencies are born in him if he wants to fall then the tendencies of chengiz nadir shah hitler stalin are developed in him there is no problem in that if 
man does not want to do anything as usually happens, then he remain a kind of animal, no change whatsoever. To rise ever, to go beyond, you have to make an effort. For water to, fall, to flow downward, no effort is needed for water to do. But if water has to go and merge in the cosmos, to go higher, it has to make an effort. It has to go on the fire and it cannot go. It has to be placed, put in a pot. Pot has to be placed on the stove. The fire has to be lit. And then the process of its ascendance begins. First, water gets hot. When it reaches a certain temperature, water transforms itself into steam and the steam cannot remain condensed where it is. It, its transcendence is a journey of transcendence, is a journey of ascendance begins. This needs an effort. Because you have to make an effort this does not mean it is not following the laws of existence. Man walks on the ground, boat sails in the ocean, aeroplane flies in the air. Now we made <coughs> the spaceships they have the capacity to go even beyond the wind. Nothing is unnatural and nothing is against the laws of existence. <coughs> In existence, <coughs> nothing unnatural can ever happen. There is a certain laws. If the water is not placed on the fire, the law of existence, of ascendance will not apply to it. The laws will apply to it only when water is placed in the pot and pot is put on the fire. Then <coughs> as the temperature of the water changes, its quality changes, its form changes from water that was flowing downward it changes to a steam that has the capacity to move upward. Nothing is wrong. This is the law of nature. At equal temperature and pressure, water boils at certain degrees Celsius. It's not that it's, uh, the boiling point is fixed 100 degrees Celsius. It is affected by the, the pressure. water boils at 100 degrees Celsius if certain conditions are met. Nothing is unnatural. Everything in the existence that you see follows the laws of existence. That is how it is. When man is sitting in the plane and plane is flying in the sky it is following the laws of aviation that is the name given to the law of existence that is followed by the aeroplane when a boat or a ship sails on the surface of the water it is again following the law of existence which is specifically for sailing. And when man was not capable of flying, that does not mean that this law did not exist. 
there was no one capable to explore this law that man can fly in the air. Oh, then aeroplane was invented. Then now we develop spaceships that move at a speed faster than that. When you attain to celibacy, you are following the laws of existence. When you fall into lust, then too you are following the, you are guided by the law of existence. You cannot go beyond this. Exactly like this fish want to know where is the ocean. Is this question wise? So fish cannot speak, fish cannot ask, but it is a metaphor. Man has the capacity to ask, he has the capacity to transform, but he has to ask, how can I change? Everyone is sick and we are seeking different medicines for it. You know what is the universal medicine for treatment? The universal medicine is compassion because everyone lacks, is missing love in his or her life, unaware of what is love. Love is an unseen but realized truth. It is the energy that flows through you. When this energy is not flowing through you, you have many kind of ailments. The solution for each ailment is compassion is the universal remedy. <clears throat> the plane is flying in the air at a certain altitude, at a certain speed. If the system of the plane begins to malfunction, then the plane will start descending. It can strike the ground. It is, its system failed while it was landing, then crash happens. Man is not even aware of crash that happens in his life on a day-to-day -day basis. Everything is following the law of existence. How different ways, in different ways you are following the law of existence. In the same proportion, the bliss or the happiness or harmony manifests through your life. And in whatever proportion you are unable to follow the law of existence. When you are sitting in a plane, the plane is following the law of existence. When you are in meditation, you are following the law of existence. And then a certain amount of inner harmony and bliss comes into you. That becomes a part of life. You cover a certain distance plane is flying at a certain altitude, at a certain speed, following the law of existence, it takes you from one destination to another. In meditation, when you are following the law of existence, you move from one stage to another, one level of growth to another and your journey of Transcendence continues and when a certain amount of a distance and effort is made, you reach the destination, life is transformed. You were at a particular destination. From where you started the journey, you took the vehicle that could transport you from your destination 
to where you have to go from your source of origin point of origin to your destination if you do not right do not board the plane do not follow the protocol that you have to present all the documents and then when you have the ticket you have the required visa you have the resources then you are allowed to board the plane and when you board the plane the plane flies takes you from where you are to where you want to reach does it not happen like that you are at a certain level of development if i say that muladhar there is a law the earth center from there to move to the higher center you have to take a flight you have to follow the protocol you have to make an effort sitting down at your home you will not be able to reach you have to go to the airport from where the journey begins so where is the airport meditation is the airport you have to start the meditation you have to reach the place from where you can take the flight in meditation so you take the flight you board the plane of meditation meditation flows with a certain speed the fuel is the energy field of the master and with that you are riding the his energy field on the vehicle of meditation to move from where you were the flight cancelled you could not move from there you could not gather the resources to move from your country of your place of origin muladhar you want to reach to sahasrar you cannot reach because you do not follow the protocol certain requirements you need a certain requirements you ride the plane of meditation meditation works with a certain fuel and then it depends upon in what proportion and what way you follow the law of existence in the same proportion there will be bliss or joy or happiness in your life then at times in the process of your journey you have to transit at certain places the plane transits it refuels itself it has to pick up the other passengers who are there so in the journey of transformation your journey is started from a someone is at b so at the b junction the plane will stop and then the other person will board then two of them will continue the flight at times you are in transit because the plane needs to rest you need to rest so at times there is you are going everything is smoothly from washington to amsterdam the flight is non stop but at what at amsterdam you have to change the flight you that flight cannot take you beyond that so in meditation the journey changes you have to now go at a higher speed because when a spacecraft goes there is the gravitational force of the earth that works on the spacecraft so when you are within the gravitational force of a lower center that the flight the journey is controlled by that by the energy field by the gravitational force of that center in order to cross that you need more 
amplification when you are your vehicle is moving higher on the altitude you have to change the gear from drive to other gear so that the vehicle can move smoothly on a higher altitude and when it is descending then it's a different process can't you apply this metaphor and when this happens in your life one day you are feeling very good next day you call and say i am not feeling so good this is something happened did you do anything you cannot understand that the flight has to stop at a certain place it needs to refuel it needs to change the crew it needs to because whatever the food and beverages was boarded on the plane at washington finished between wash in flight between washington to amsterdam from amsterdam you have to refuel everything and be ready for the second journey in the same way when you are journeying in the process in meditation from one center to the other you are your flight will stop there is no non direct flight as far as transformation of human consciousness is concerned and one thing is in what proportion you follow you follow all the protocol of the flight from washington to amsterdam or from new york to any other destination if you follow the all the rules and protocol you will board the plane you will be allowed to board you are given all the facilities in the class that you are in in economy class in business class in first class the facilities differ depending on what kind of resources you have if you have more resources your journey will be according to that the facilities and things will be easy you can even take this in certain planes certain airlines there are suites you can travel in such a comfort that you are not even aware that you are in the flight does it not happen have you not maybe you may have may not have experience but you should be aware of these facilities i never availed of these facilities but i am aware of that and i am using the same metaphor in the process of transformation of human consciousness the journey of upward moving upward is follows the law of existence it is moving towards higher nature when it is moving downward it is also following the law of existence when your journey is descending <coughs> moving downward it brings pain chaos and suffering so when you say there is chaos there is suffering in your love life in your life it is that you are following the descent that which is lower becomes hell that's why you say my life is a hell not you have chosen that way and that which is better which is best is higher that symbolizes symbolizes heaven more possibility of bliss and happiness open infinite possibilities of bliss open 
into you. Infinite possibilities of bliss happens in you. Nobody is asking you to do this or that. And also you will not change your ways and means because someone is telling you that. I am simply telling you this so that you can recognize that you are in chaos, your life is chaotic, you are in pain, if and you can re recognize that your consciousness is moving downward. If you want to remain in that chaotic state of suffering, then you dissent wisely. Moving downward, you do not expect to reach Do not expect to have the bliss. Bliss and the happiness is the outcome of upward journey. <clears throat> to expect happiness, bliss or joy while you are descending, it can never happen. If you feel that you have to attain to bliss or happiness in your life, you have to change your direction. First, there will be a problem, there will be... <coughs> you have to make extra effort. The water very easily, nothing is there for it to move from higher altitude to lower. But in order, same thing you, you just throw it and finish and it is start finding its own way. But when you want to boil water or make a cup of tea, you have to make an effort. You have to put the water in a pot. You have to clean the pot. So you have to clean the mind. Mind is the pot where everything brews. Takes the process. Cleaning the pot is the process of meditation. Then you put it. Then you light the stove bring more energy into you because when it is said that when you have a fluorescent light when it or the air conditioner it needs the amount of energy to start is much more than than it runs on a continuous basis so in our business place we had an AC every day we were switching it off so the technician says said that do not switch it off leave it on for 24 hours it will work because its capacity is such because when it has to start like your vehicle to start it needs more energy but when it is in gear no not much effort is needed in order to start the car you have to do many things you have to look at all the <coughs> the terminals whatsoever it is when a plane is to start it has to see many things in it when you start the vehicle on a long journey you look at the fuel indicator you look at the temperature indicator, you check the, the <clears throat> other indicators when everything is in order, then you start the vehicle. So when the pilot or the crew goes in the plane, he goes there before the flight starts boarding, what he does? He checks this entire system of the plane because the person, the flight crew that flown that plane is different, it is changed now. So now a new set of 
pilots are entering flight crew is entering the plane cockpit the, before they take you on the voyage on the flight they check everything in the system when they check everything they can check all that it happened once i was in tokyo from there we take were taking a flight to new york we boarded the plane the the crew the flight crew was checking the system of the plane we remained about 20 30 minutes plus then it says that there was a problem with the fuel cap and because of that it is taking that was the announcement it will take a little while before it could fix so we remain in the plane after a certain time we were asked to disembark while the pilots are the flight crew is checking the system technicians were called and then we waited for another hour then I, we were told that it will take a while. We were shifted to the nearby hotel to stay and he said the flight will take a start next day. It was cancelled for that day because the fuel cap had a certain malfunctioning and with that malfunctioning the flight could not take off. This is an analogy why your flight is not taking off there is some malfunctioning in you first that malfunctioning has to be corrected at every stage every signal has to be checked if you look at in the cockpit there are so many so many lights every light has to be checked i am this we are having the live streaming there are many lights which i have to keep my eyes on simultaneously while i'm looking into the battery system in one of that if the light is flashing properly otherwise there will be a discontinuity of the voice so everything has to be checked when you are being taken on a flight to meditation many things have to be checked if your passport and documents are ready if the flight is ready are you ready to take off there are certain times when the you know the when somebody has to go into the space a greater check is to be take done greater checks are to be done your blood pressure your temperature <coughs> so many things have to be seen so if you have to attain to bliss or happiness in your life there will be effort and pain in the beginning this we call in a spiritual field as austerity or tap if somebody is climbing the mountain it needs much more effort when the vehicle is up on the ascent it needs more energy that's why we change the gear from a drive drive gear goes on when the play, the vehicle is moving smoothly on one level when it has to climb up it needs a higher energy when it is descending you don't need to even accelerate the vehicle is moving with the acceleration all you need to keep your feet on the brakes you all know it all journey upward is needs effort and painful at the end of each ascent there is a rest <clears throat> after you had gone through the pain you rest it has a taste and value of its own those who have tasted it they will know 
when you move from one center to another, to higher, when you reach there, you are allowed to be in transit until things settle in you at that level. You start understanding all that happens at that level, at that plane, and its value, its importance is different. If a plane, you are taken with a helicopter or a plane and take you to the mountain, the Everest mountain, the highest peak, the bliss, the joy, the happiness that you will feel when you are climbing the mountain, when the first time Edmund Hillary in 1953 and Ten Singh Noke, when they climbed the mountain at each state, their joy or ecstasy was beyond expression. Each place they reach a certain, they climb a certain height, they made a camp. That's how this rock climbing goes on. The mountain climbing happens. You cannot continuously climb the mountain to reach to the peak where you have to reach. You have to make many camps. Base camp, you start up from there. Then you cover a certain distance. You take a rest. There is a joy that, oh, I have reached 1,000 feet higher. You are resting at that camp. Isn't the joy of the mountain climber exceeds at that time? When you are on a voyage, you are on a road trip from one city to another, when you cover a certain distance, you go to the resting place. The road transport when you are going in any country, when you are before you enter the city the next stoppage there are resting places where you can refuel your vehicle you can refuel yourself you can rest you can do whatsoever is necessary to be done because in the vehicle there is no restroom facilities so there are restrooms made at a certain distance you cover that distance refuel yourself, refuel your vehicle, re relax yourself and then start the journey higher. In a spiritual field, the same metaphor applies. When these two mountain climbers who reach the highest peak, Everest Mount, the Everest peak, the joy that they gained the experience in climbing the mountain was much more than if you are dropped by a helicopter. Because the joy is not only reaching the, the destination, what is also in the journey. The journey is more beautiful than reaching the destination. When you reach at the the thousand petal center, which is the destination. There is nothing, no activity there. But the joy of reclimbing, the problems that you go through, how you wade through, through swimming, through playing or anything, is much more than those who have experienced this, they will know. There is do not worry about shortcut. The more shortcut you will find, you can just be dropped by a helicopter on the Everest mountain, the highest peak. There is no joy in it. If you do a walk on your own, there is a joy. You are enjoying the scenery, the breeze blowing through you, the wind surging through your bones. There is a joy of it. 
the the joy of journey is invaluable inexpressible when you read it is the joy of the journey of the journey which is uh, which intensifies when you reach the destination if you try to escape from the journey you can reach the destination but there will be no joy you have to go through the all the problems in the flight the flight cancelled it's a hopping flight because of one reason or the other your flight was diverted through the other cities once it happened that the i was flying from miami to washington the flight could not be direct for some reason or the other about four or five different destinations we had to stop and then finally about four or five hours it was because of the storm the flight was cancelled the direct flight from Miami which was about 9 9 30 in the night and would reach around midnight um, the uh, midnight or little early hours in Washington that flight was cancelled and next day when we took the flight it was not a direct flight it was a hopping flight so many places and there was a joy of stopping at every destination otherwise I would have never been able to go to those destinations on our own because those were the minor um, the places which do not fall in the line of my travel from Miami to Washington or any other destination so you may complain that if you had trouble but there is another side of it Oh, you never get, I never get the opportunity to go here and there and all those hopping flight. There is a joy of that. So never be worried about. There is a joy of reaching the, the, those religious pilgrimages which are high in the mountain when you are climbing on your own. There is a particular Gurdwara uh, uh, in uh, Himalayan mountain known as Gurdwara Hemkun Sahib. The journey from there it starts in steps. At each step when you go, there are <coughs> place people, the group of the people who offer the services. There is a snow falling. They make the resting places. They make the medical facilities available. They offer the teas and all that thing there. These are important. Once I had walked um, the same time when I was traveling from Tokyo to New York, the flight was cancelled, so we had to take, so we had some time, so we had to walk around in the township of the airport, Narita International Airport. So there were shops and so we noticed that it was a snow falling and it was easy that time, the every shop outside had a boiler where the tea was boiled, the herbal tea, there were cups and no charges, nothing there. So you take a cup of, take a cup, fill it with the tea and enjoy it and continue to continue your walk because when the snow is falling, there is cold, the wind is surging through your bones. That time getting a warm tea gets a pleasure. All these things are metaphor. In the process of transcendence of human consciousness, you go through all that. The, the, the joy of the travel, the, try, the joy of journeying, and then journeying through the various vicissitudes when you reach the destination, it is much more important. Never be afraid never run out the stages it has its own joy and that enhances it more it enhances more the joy only this much for this morning until 
we meet again tomorrow take care and do have a pleasant